Well, one of the beauties of coming to this part of Arizona, pretty much any part of Arizona for that matter, in January is quail season is open. And it's beautiful and we've got great dogs, great friends. But up here we're looking mostly for Mern's quail, uh, which is an amazing bird, amazing on the table too. We're uh, a unique state in the fact that we have um, uh, five native quail, um, three, the big three, which is what uh, most folks are after when they come down here is gambles, uh, scaled quail, and uh, Mern's quail. There are just quail everywhere here. So the pattern usually is in the morning, go hunt coos deer, go hunt javelina, and then at 11 o'clock, grab the dogs and go chase quail. Follow along. I saw you shoot one one time on TV. I know. You know, it went up it, and it I has one happened shot before. And down I know. And, you know, it's happened. The same shotgun, same everything. But it flew straight away. Yeah. That's a problem, yeah. So, well, I didn't take this male Mern's quail. Uh, I think Tyler did, but beautiful birds. Uh, we got three of them just in this afternoon's little circles we made. Good dogs, good habitat will do that. And uh, it's one of the highlights of coming down here deer hunting is all the small game, the birds, waterfowl. So many intriguing things that you don't get to do in other places. So if you're down here deer hunting, make sure you bring a shotgun. And if you have a really good dog, bring the dog down here, shoot some quail, bring your bow and go hunt deer or have a lean on. Beautiful and delicious. This is a little Mern's quail that we got. Uh, they're, they're probably my favorite bird down here. I chase these things all the time. They are incredibly fast little birds. They live in beautiful country and they're delicious to eat. So what I do is I just pull the breast feathers apart just like that. You can see they actually got a pretty good sized Pretty good sized breast for a little bird. Get that all exposed like that. Grab these game shears. And you just go right in, right up here. And it'll just snip. Do it right here on the other side. And when that does, it just releases everything. So you can just take a hold of this breast, just like this, and just pop that out. There you have the whole breast of a quail. These little guys do have some pretty tasty little drumsticks on them. Again, use your handy dandy game shears. Pop that leg off, or pop the lower part of the leg off. Okay. Take that off to the side and over here to the other side and do the same thing. And there you have it. Rabbit time. I would not want to be a rabbit today. <laughs> Antelope jackrabbits have ears about that long, and they are the tastiest things. We have jackrabbits and cottontail open this time of year. Rabbits are always good here um, for whatever reason. We tend to have favorable conditions for not only uh, cottontails, but jackrabbits as well. I am signing in to the uh, Arizona Game and Fish Public Access Program. There's a big cooperative program Arizona Game and Fish has with landowners that allows public access in exchange for habitat improvements and other things that are long-term agreements. It's really a good thing. We use it when we come quail hunting, when we come rabbit hunting, we've used it antelope hunting, you name it. Ready boys? Let her rip. Hey, 
All you can do is keep hunting. <laughs> Well, you've heard the saying there's more than one way to skin a cat. We're going to show you there's more than one way to skin a rabbit and uh, we're going to show you some different ways that different people do it and maybe we all end up doing it the same. But I'm going to pay close attention because I'm always interested in how other people do things and how they arrive at their reasons and systems for doing it. So watch and uh, we'll show you how we do it. Okay, so we're gonna uh, skin an antelope jackrabbit. Um, we handle these pretty much the same way you do deer. So I'm gonna start by peeling away around the tendon that I just cut through here. I have to do just a little bit of a cut and then come inside to the belly and get them down. And get a good cut all the way around. And it can get messy sometimes. Always start at the top as you're pulling it out. Wow. Done deal. I got a lucky rabbit's foot. And there we have it. So there you have it folks, that is rabbits, or hares, whatever, whatever you want to call them, nobody cares. What we care about is you go out and you hunt them, and when you hunt them, you take care of them out here in the field. We said there's many ways to do it, right? And there's many ways to prepare rabbits for dinner. Marco Pierre White said, you, your cooking will never improve until you stop following a recipe. <laughs> and this is exactly <laughs> one of those cases. <laughs> Quail cottontail tortilla soup. So each pot um, ended up with uh, a single rabbit a piece and then about um, uh, five quail in each. We used the, the breasts uh, as well as the leg meat um, in each. So total of 10 quail and, and two cottontails. So um, hopefully it should be enough to, to feed a bunch of hungry folks here at the, the Randy Newberg Southern Arizona uh, hunting camp. So we'll see what happens. I'm just going to get right in here. Me gusta. Bueno. 
Good on you. you got that John O'Dell guy, yeah, I tell you what. Which he is. Yeah, in spite of all the rumors of him being not talented. <laughs> Someone's trying to help now. No wonder he wins so many cooking contests. <laughs> Top notch, Jonathan. Yeah, no. Well, there you have it, folks. This is how you take care of rabbits and quail. We're down here in Arizona, and we're deer hunting, we're javelina hunting, and we threw in our shotguns and other things to take care of these other needs we have, like eating rabbits and eating quail. And when you're preparing, whether it's rabbits or quail, give it your full effort, because they are a wonderful, wonderful species to eat, and they deserve everything you have. Invite some friends over. I'm sure that you'll love it, your friends will love it, and you'll want to go out and do more small game hunting. Thanks for watching.